Oh boy, this is the first shot on the new setup. I'm so excited. So excited. I think I can actually do legit things now. Does, also though, can I pull this hat off? Or should I just stick to the old, uh, old glory here, the classic? I try to rock the five panel, but you know, it just doesn't. I think it's too uh, too shallow for my head. Or, I don't know, I need a haircut too. I got so many issues with it. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying. So, three, four, four weeks ago now, uh, I went to Canada with 509 to shoot the last segment of 509 volume 13, the snowmobile movie I'm in, which the trailer for it actually drops today. If you wanna see that trailer, I'll put it in the description of this video. Now, uh, we went to Canada, had a great time. I brought my little piece of junk set up that I thought I was gonna maybe shoot some cool video on and um, it's, it was garbage. So what I did is I just picked up a new Canon M50 mirrorless. I don't know what I'm doing. I hopefully did enough research and uh, I think this is gonna be kind of a good setup for me. Now, before I even left, I got some new shoes from this company Forsake. I've been wearing my Forsake duck shoes, if you've seen me in the snow or in the fall ever, I'm probably wearing my green and brown duck shoes that uh, I absolutely love. And I finally picked up some new ones. So I bought two pair and uh, I wanted to do a video on them, kind of an unboxing video. But I've been so damn busy that I haven't even had the chance to. And then my camera was a piece of junk, I hated it so much that I waited until I picked up this setup. So we're gonna get right to that. But first, I want to show you guys what happened to my snowmobile in Canada. I almost forgot, so I was been gone. Wait, what? No one's in there. Yeah, no. So, uh... So this is just classic me, right? Last ride of the season, June 24th or 5th or whatever it was, and uh, I break my soul again, like every year. 509 volume 11, 12, 11, 10, 11, I think it was 10, it was 10, I don't know, I think it was 10, and that's when I endoed my snowmobile off the log and just like totally destroyed my intercooler, that was the last ride of that season, I think, that was definitely the last day filming the 509, um, and now this time, last day filming with the 509, I decide I'm gonna side hill above a rock and then elevate her down below it. But I didn't even make it above the rock before I elevated into the rock and my snowmobile endoed. Luckily, all that happened was the broken arm, as you can see. So, yeah, moral of the story, if you wanna be in the snowmobile movies, you're probably gonna break some things. So, why am I telling you all this? Well, because before I even went to Canada, got some new kicks and I wanted to do a video on them and show you guys them I wanted to do an unboxing video is what I wanted to do um, but I got two pairs so these are some right here they're pretty dope they're pretty dope I'll talk about them in a second but the second pair um, I didn't do I haven't worn I should say because I want to do this video and unbox them and talk about them while they're still fresh because I will wear them and ruin them before anybody even knows about it. So, back to what this whole video is supposed to be about. My subpar fashion sense. And shoe boots. Half shoe, half boot. Hard to conquer, hard to build and get good. But if you can find one that you like, that's a great choice right there. Anyways, so four years ago, probably four years ago, um, I saw a company called Forsake. They just had started to kind of come onto the market. They had a few shoes and nobody else had them. So I was like, I want what nobody else has. So I got some. The first pair I got were the Ducks. And just wait, just wait right here. These are the Ducks. Fittingly named for the duck style toe 
that you see in classic boots like this. Now, as you can see, these things are torched. That's what three years of uh, traveling around the world will do to stuff, torch them. Um, I wouldn't say traveling around the world, more so traveling to other countries a couple times and then just driving all over the Western United States. Um, but a few things that I loved about these shoes is how comfortable they were. You could wear them all day long, very comfortable travel in them. Um, they're waterproof and the sole never came off. It didn't wear that bad. Really impressed with that because usually they don't last three years. They just fall apart. So thank you for three great years, Ducks, but you're retired. So before I went on my madness for three weeks of just not being able to do anything and not having a proper setup, I ordered a couple new pairs. And I got two this time because I couldn't choose just one. I needed a regular shoe, this guy right here. And then I also wanted something to replace the ducks. I wanted to go with a little bit different style so I didn't get the same shoe. They do still make the ducks and they're a great shoe. I might get another pair. You never know. Um, but I went with this shoe right here for my uh, everyday summer shoe. It's got a little lightweight, flexible, like they do in the Zappos uh, videos. Yeah, very flexible mesh upper. No, um, anyways, focus. Lewis, these are the Lewises. Uh, God, they're just like classy, kind of clean. You know, you could just, you can wear these all the time, whatever. So I couldn't wait to undo an unboxing. Uh, video on those because I just had to wear them um, but the second ones the ones that I'm excited to replace the old ducks are this this is the range high um, these there's not just one shoe in here they send two shoes like most companies do um, so the range highs oh wait a second look at that Ooh, grab handle you walk out of the store like a boss with a briefcase when you buy a pair of these. No bag necessary. It has its own handle. Dope. The Credo. You guys can read that on your free time. Um, and the Shaboot. These are really cool. I like these because I like tan. I love earth. Shades like like drab green and tans and browns. So um, these are really nice. I also like that there's not a lot of stitching around the toe. So I actually I do have quite a bit of experience with boots just because I spend so much time in different types of boots. And uh, one thing that's really nice is when a shoe has a lot of stitching down low, there's more places for water to infiltrate the taped seam. So when you have a leather bottom that doesn't have a lot of stitching, this is uh, a good sign. Um, I'm more confident in it than if it had uh, different seams and all sorts of stuff. So simple, clean look. Um, it kind of has the, the, the classic shoe white sole on the bottom, which kind of gives it that shoe boot feel. They're uh, a little bit stiffer than the Lewis shoes, but they should be because you're supposed to be able to conquer anything in these bad boys. One huge upgrade that I'm excited about the Vibram sole. Um, I loved the soles on those and uh, I'm excited about these to try these out and uh, I don't think they'll fall apart either. I sure hope they don't. But these are the range highs. Come with uh, another set of laces. Probably shorter laces. I'm not really sure. They're this. Wait, are they? No, they're not the same color. They're close to the same color, though. Ah, oh, I don't know if you can tell, but that's kind of impressive. Uh, a tan and an orange and a dark brown and an orange. I'll probably switch the laces out, you know? Mmm, very nice. So these boots, shoe boots, are not only comfortable, ooh, they feel nice. They're waterproof, fully taped seams, leather bottoms, and they do have some good support right off the bat. I can, I can 
feel it. Oh, nice. Oh, I feel like I can achieve things in these shoes. Let's go kick some tires. I can dance in them, I think. It's a tire. Good news, they kick tires. You always can tell if a shoe's gonna be good if you can kick tires in it. Well, that's about it for me and the forsakes here. If you guys want to sh go shop for these bad boys, I put the link in the description. You can see all of the shoes. They sell them all on Amazon. Um, if you have Prime, I think they're all Prime shoes as well. So that's sweet. And uh, yeah, if you guys like live in Bend, Oregon, or Jackson Hole, Wyoming, or Park City, Utah, or uh, Breckenridge, Colorado, or Steamboat Springs, or any place where you have to walk on snow at some point during the year, um, and you want to kind of wow some people, maybe pick up some chicks, yeah, these bad boys will do it for you. And ladies, also, they have a great women's line, an awesome women's line. Um, I kind of want some of their women's shoes, but I can't really do that, so... See ya. Thanks for watching. If you like anything you saw here, please subscribe and I'll see you later.